What's up, everybody? It's your boy Kahuna Silver right here on YouTube. Um, I want to come to you guys because Pokemon Sword and Shield is like literally right down the corner. And while I have some hype for the game, I don't have any hype for the game. And I'm going to explain why. And this is maybe for everybody, man. If you are a Pokemon fan and you've been waiting for um, Sword and Shield this whole time, you might probably be feeling the same way that I am. I know a lot of people may be feeling this way as well. Nobody wants to admit it, and that's okay. But once I actually explain what everybody probably is feeling at this point, um, hopefully that um, we can all come to an agreement and see what can happen from there on. Now, I'm not, this is not a kiss game freak moment or nothing like that. It's a message to everybody. A message to all Pokemon fans. So, over the past month or so Pokemon Sword and Shields controversy the overall announcements everything about the game has taken a mental toll on me but the only reason I'm coming about about this now is because the games are so close and you know I can finally just say finally I can finally just say it's over the games are finally out game freaking rest they can do whatever but um the main reason why I'm saying all this stuff is, is that National Ducks controversy, man. I told y'all multiple times that I was okay with it, but how can you be okay with something that's been constantly thrown in your face? You know, you see it everywhere you go. We try to enjoy the hype of the game. Nobody's getting hyped for the game. There's always somebody fighting another person in the comment sections. It's always an online argument, and you always something gets stuck in it. The main takeaway from this is. I believe everybody is tired. Everybody is tired of the fighting. Everybody is tired of arguing. Everybody is tired of everything Pokemon Sword and Shield at this point. And just want the games to drop. Just come out. You know. I know it sounds weird. But that's the that's, that's why I'm making it. Everybody is just at that point where they just want these games just to come out. So we can just cease it all. But the sad thing about it is. A lot of people are... Not gonna. <laughs> the sad thing about it is, in the end, when the games are all out and everything, nobody's gonna apologize. Nobody's gonna apologize to nobody. Nobody's gonna say sorry to the national dexers. Nobody's gonna say sorry to the anti-national dexers. Nobody's gonna go say sorry to Nintendo, their social media team, or Game Freak, or the Pokemon Company because everybody just want to keep going. Because everybody just want to say, "Ha, I told you so." In the end, everybody just want to keep going with this and I believe even after the games come out it's not gonna stop. Only because that that alone. But we can all agree on one thing. We just want these games to go ahead and just drop already. You know? That's how I feel about it, these games at this point. It's such a mental toll. It, it just just the whole controversy. It had me on the couch in the bed. You know, it just made me, I would I'd go to work almost every day just thinking about it. You know, I couldn't even bring up a general conversation with my friends because I don't know what they think about the National Dex um, controversy and everything. I don't really know. It's just, it's, uh, it just was a bad freaking controversy. And I think a lot of people, you know, may have a mental toll too. You know, this is, uh, this is the thing I, everybody is thinking right now. Everybody's at this point, but nobody wants to say nothing. Nobody wants to say nothing. Let's face it. Game Freak done made up their minds on the decisions they made for the game. They're not going back. And quite frankly, you know, that's just it on their front. You know, now Game Freak is not even a winner here. Everybody right now is just defeated at this point. The only people who are now vocal are trying to stay positive about the games or the guys who's still going on about Pokemon Sword and Shield is bad. Look at these graphics and everything. These those guys that don't keep carrying it. And then people who's trying to stay positive for the game. Dang man! After all the threats, the harassment, the arguing, the bickering, you can't you cannot say that you let this thing take a, a, a mental toll on you. As a Pokemon fan, I shouldn't have to deal with this. Nobody should have to deal with this. This whole controversy is stupid. It's out of hand. It's crazy. 
over what? Mythical creatures that don't have no emotional sentiments to you, but you have an attachment to them? It's just not worth it. It's a video game. It's just a video game. A lot of people not just seeing that. It's just a video game. Anyway, I'm not saying that the the uh, the criticism wasn't deserved. Why well, I am saying that everything else that followed behind the criticism wasn't necessary. But it's you choosing you what you pick and what you want to. You know, I'm still gonna be buying the games. It's but. What I truly want for the future, you know, is to everybody just to take a break, you know. Everybody take a break. Load up Sunny Moon if you want to. Ultra Sunny Moon. Let's go. Or even Sword of Shield if you want to. Just everybody just take a break from this whole National Dex crap and the whole controversy of Pokemon Sword and Shield. I mean, I don't know why us as a community act out so bad and let it got to this point that it's so bad. I mean, we tried to have a little bit of positivity with the thank you game freak, but then it was counteracted by the F you game freak. Like I said, after the games are done and over with, I have a feeling that it's not going to end there because everybody on each side want to say, I told you so. And it's pretty sad. It would be better if everybody was just to drop it at this point you know people who's gonna play the game play the game people who purchase the game buy the game people who's not gonna buy the game don't buy the game and everybody who's just neutral on the side and most importantly I want game free to rest after this game you know share this video with a lot of people share this video with a lot of Pokemon fans you know share this message with them man it, it should feel like a tie at the end of the day nobody wins Nobody won at the end of this game release. That's just the point. Nobody won. And you think just because Pokemon sell, uh, Sword and Shield, you know, so it's going to sell great. Still, where did Game Freak benefit? They get money, but where did they benefit? They know the next Pokemon game is going to get just as much, if not more, or of a controversy. You decide. Yo, it's your boy, Kasuna Silver. Sign out. Deuces.